Hi friends, it's Mrs. Oliver here today to teach you a fun math game we're gonna play. It's going to be a memory math game for ways to make 10. So what you're gonna need for today is a whiteboard and a marker, and you're going to need, um, you're gonna need to either cut up some small pieces of paper, or you can cut up some index cards or post-its, whatever you have that's kind of small, like a card, and you're gonna write these numbers on the card. Ready? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, another five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you're gonna write all those numbers, zero to ten, but you're gonna have two fives, a five and another five. Okay, so pause the video now if you need to and go make those cards. Once you've made the cards, you're gonna put them in a pile, you're gonna shuffle them up, you're gonna mix them all up because you don't wanna keep them in the same order. So I'm gonna mix up my cards and then I'm gonna lay them back out. So here I am, I'm gonna lay them back out. I don't wanna see the numbers. I wanna just see the back side like this. Okay, until I have all my cards laid out. All right, once my cards are laid out, I'm gonna play my game. So what I need to do is, if you've ever played memory before, I'm gonna turn over two cards and I'm gonna try to make a pair of 10. So let's see what I do first. I'm gonna flip over this one. Ooh, I got a one. So what number do I need to find to get to 10? I need to find the nine but I don't know where the nine is because they're all flipped over. So I'm just gonna pick one. How about this one? Ooh, so I got the six. So does one plus six make 10? No, that makes seven. So it's not a match. I'm gonna turn it back over, but I'm gonna try really hard to remember that the one is here and the six is here so that next time I can get a match. All right, so I'm gonna turn that over, turn that over. Let's try another one. How about this one? Ooh, a seven this time. So seven, what do I need to get to get to 10, seven, eight, nine, 10? Need to find that three. Hmm, how about over here? You think this is a three? Nope, not a three, it's a five. So seven plus five doesn't make 10. So I'm gonna turn it back over, but I'm gonna try to remember I have a five here and a seven here. How about this one? Ooh, a two. So now I need to figure out what do I need to get to get to 10, I need an eight. I haven't seen an eight yet. Let's try this one. Nope, so I still have no matches, but I'm starting to learn where my cards are. Three and a two. Does anyone remember where that seven is? Because I know that seven and three make 10, and I just had a three here. I think it might've been here. Let's check, was it here? <gasps> there it was, there's my seven, and I remember I had a three over here. <gasps> seven and three make 10, so that's a pair. So I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna put it over here on my whiteboard because I just got a match. All right, and I'm gonna keep playing. I'm gonna keep doing that until I get all of my pairs of 10. So I'd go again. Oh, there's that one again. Hmm, need to find that nine. Oh, I'm getting closer, one and eight. Flip it back over, whoop, and keep playing until, oh, I found a nine. So nine, and I remember this was a one because I'm playing memory. There's a one. Nine plus one is 10, that's a match. I'm gonna take it out. And then after I get all my matches done, I'm gonna take my whiteboard, I'm gonna take my whiteboard marker, and I'm just gonna write the matches that I got. So if you just remember, I just got seven plus three equals 10. My next match was nine plus one equals 10. And I'm gonna write all the matches, all the ways that I made 10 playing my memory game. I hope you guys have fun. Bye.